Alrighty, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Pokemon Sword and Shield in 4K, 60 FPS, full speed, and maximum power on the PC with the Yuzu emulator. Yes, there's, this game is basically fully playable and you can put it into its maximum setting and speed. Now, before we get right into this video, please make sure you guys leave a like, share, and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel because I'll be making a lot of more emulation videos like this in the near future. And yeah, guys, first things first that we like to do to start up this mod is using the no outline mod. And what the no outline mod is basically going to do is basically gonna make the game look much more better. So how you basically set that up and do keep in mind, I'll leave everything in the description down below for you guys can check it out. So first things first, we're going to open up the mod data location. Then we're going to place the A, since I'm playing Pokemon Sword, the file with the A, B, F is going to be for me. I basically drag, drag and drop it. I'm going to close this, close this, and I'm open up properties of the emulator. And you see it's on. Now, the next thing that you will be doing is going to your configuration settings. And we're going to mess around with some new settings on the Yuzu emulator. Now, when we play Pokemon Sword, I'm going to put on GPU emulation. Make sure that's on. Make sure it's on OpenGL because so far that's the best setting for this emulator right now. Vulcan is not too good. It's still in the rough beta stage, I would say. And I will uncheck everything. Now, something new to the Yuzu emulator that's coming within a few coming weeks and maybe a couple of days from now is you can speed up your games. So that's basically you can speed up your games, make, make like mostly in Pokemon games, they will work the best. Like first party titles, like animal crossing smash, like the game basically speeds up and this new setting, I'm going to put it on high in the advanced graph and advanced graphical settings. And then you press OK with that. Make sure that it's enabled. Now, there's certain things you guys can mess around too to try to improve your performance, but I wouldn't suggest doing it due to certain reasons. Is disabling the audio. That may give you a slight boost of performance on when you're playing Pokemon, but if you really want to hear the game sound, I suggest you just leaving it on enabling audio. Now, also another thing I'd like to mention the 4k settings and the graphical tab as you know when you choose certain natives the resolution becomes a little bit better this is can be a little bit buggy at times depends on it depends on what game you're playing but for pokemon sword and show we're going to test it out try to push it as much as possible to 4k so we're going to use native 4x if it does not work uh change it back to native it really doesn't matter now after you got all that set up you're gonna mess around with the 60 FPS hack. So this is another thing I'll leave in the description down below. The 60 FPS hack. This is basically for any game. You can play 60 60 frames per second for any game on the user emulator. Because most games I believe run at 30 frames per second. But this is especially good for Pokemon. Since Pokemon runs at 30 frames, locked at 30 frames. The 60 FPS mod would basically help that. And then when we go to the properties, make sure it's on. It's basically on. And after you do that, we're going to test this bad boy out and see what's going on with this. All right. Now, if it does crash, I'll assume it crashed because I put the 4K native on. If it if it crashed due to the 4K native, I'm just gonna leave it on. I'll say regular native and see if I can go into playing the game without crashing. That's basically my goal so far. So we're gonna test this out now. Do keep in mind that I may not get the full this full strength of this emulation due to the fact that when you're recording, the Yuzu emulator tends to slow down a little bit.
all right so we're gonna go to like very strong demanding areas probably like three areas max see how it runs if it crashes, it this it means the 60 fps mod it's not working correctly Wow, oh my goodness. This game looks amazing. Amazing, 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 amazing. It's, it's <laughs> I know the recording might not, might, might not do it justice, but this game looks amazing. Like, it looks really good. It looks really, 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 really good. So let's test it out. See what certain things that... Alright. A little crash here and there. Now, the game looks a little bit much more better. With certain settings on. Due to the fact that I'm recording frames obviously gonna be a little bit not so great but if I record off camera I'm pretty sure my performance will be a lot more better because 13 to 17 frames per second and I'm playing this game is actually the highest it's ever been even while I'm recording usually when I'm recording I used to get like six to seven frames per second when I'm playing this game but I tell you if I'm not if I wasn't recording I think it would be at lock at 30 or 40 frames. So let's test let's go in battle and see how great this game looks. Oh, this game looks amazing. That looks way better on the switch. It was way better on the Switch. This game is amazing. You guys have to try this mod out for yourself to see how amazing this game looks. So enough with that that's basically it we basically I basically pushed the uh, the game to its maximum power I put in showcase the settings real quick one more time went to the graphical tab I use GPU emulation I turned everything off so I didn't make it locked on 30 FPS and I didn't turn on v-sync and I put it on high to basically push the game to full speed and make it make it go a little bit more faster I would say if you if you like want the game to be a little bit faster and you don't if you don't care about audio auto too much audio too much I say turn off everything that will help a little bit but I don't know not that much and then another thing there's a couple of mods that I use like I said in the beginning of the video that really helped is the 60 FPS on um, patch and the no outline to make it a little bit look make it look a little bit much more better and give me like kind of that that 4k experience you know what i mean even though like my video is not recording at 4k but when i'm playing the game it looks amazing it's it's really good you have you guys have to try this more for yourself so yeah this is basically one of the new features that the user emulator has added and this is from the early access build so yeah that's basically about it um Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope this tutorial helps you at all, any shape or form. 
if you guys do enjoy the video feel free to leave a like share and subscribe if you guys are new because i'll be making a lot more emulation videos like this in the near future and yeah guys this is your boy barry tone i see you guys in the next video peace out